Uh, can I start by saying congratulations to the other award winners this evening, everyone who's up on stage but also who's uh, received award, congratulations and I think that deserves a round of applause again. <laughs> Five for you are bloody stiff. <laughs> well done. Um, it's a program interforce, interworkforce. Integrated work. Exactly. Programmed. They've changed their name. I can't get it right. Program Integrated Workforce and Woodside as our co-major sponsors. We cannot operate without your support. You've done an amazing job over the past couple of seasons and I thank you once again. Um, there's a few representatives here tonight on the tables behind us. So thank you for your support. We cannot operate without your ongoing commitment to the football club. So thank you very much. To our members and our supporters who are in the room tonight. Um, no one's been more passionate and proud than you guys. Um, you are our edge and you are the people who always commit to the cause. Thank you very much for that. Um, a couple of people I want to single out tonight who may or may not be here uh, in the future to come. Uh, our number one ticket holder, Jess Sheehan, who's in the room this evening. Um, she's suffered from um, a few things over the years, a few ailments, um, and her and myself and Lauren and her family have become really close over the few years in the past. And um, I'd like to thank you for everything that you guys have done for our football club. We love having you as our number one ticket supporter, and uh, a junior ticket supporter, should I say. And uh, we look forward to our relationship in the future. Congratulations on uh, graduating year seven. Look forward to... Um, Look forward to being there in the future. Uh, a couple of guys that I spoke to earlier this evening, Jack Sheedy and Steve Marsh, um, truly legends of the Australian Football League, truly legends of the Western Australian Football League. Thank you very much for your ongoing support to this football club. You mean so much to the Fremantle history. You are the doyens of this football club and you are the people who drive us. Thank you very much. Um, to Mark Harvey and Barry Mitchell and a few other people, Stephen Platt um, is leaving the club probably come sort of January. Uh, thank you very much for your ongoing commitment and your dedication over the years. Uh, it is absolutely, absolutely warranted and, and guaranteed the commitment that you give to this football club. Um, Platty's been here since day one uh, in a variety of roles. Um, but Steve, thank you very much. I think you're up the back there with your wife, Lisa, and a few other the trainers. Our trainers don't get a mention um, a hell of a lot. Um, Ivo Capilano, who gives me a massage a couple of times a week, uh, he's... <laughs> Careful. Uh, as the boys will know, he's got iron hands and iron elbows, and he's not actually not much fun at all. Um, <laughs> Uh, Amy, Paul, uh, Danica, there's a lot of people in the room who do so much behind the, the scenes, Vic Salis. Um, there, there's a tremendous amount of work that goes behind the scenes that often goes unnoticed and you guys are honestly the soul of the club so thank you very much for your ongoing commitment. Um, A lot of guys have mentioned um, a few people tonight within the physio ranks, but no one mentioned uh, Peter Steele and Ken Withers, our doctors. Uh, they deal with so much week to week, and uh, I'm not sure if they're here tonight, but thank you very much for your ongoing commitment. Um, the club in general is a great club. It's a great club. We've, I arrived here as a 17-year-old, just like Byron Shammer did, in 2002, I arrived at the end of 1999. I was fat. I didn't know what it took to play AFL football. The people in this environment have engendered and fostered a belief in not only myself, but a belief in what it takes to be an AFL player. I might have had an enduring trait that said, yep, this is what it takes. But the people, not only in this room, but the people who have 
influenced my career over the years, including my mum and dad and my sister, have been able to instill in me some tr tremendous traits. It's the environment that you work in that actually makes you as a person, makes you as an AFL player. And right now, this club has a foundation that is good. We operate, some players operate, some people in our football department operate, somewhere between a four or five out of 10. And that's okay, that's fine. Some guys operate somewhere between a seven or eight out of 10. We need more people and more players operating somewhere we need, somewhere near a seven or eight out of 10. Because an eight out of 10 is pretty good in my book. We need everyone to step up to that mark. We look forward to a great season in 2012. Thank you to my wife, Lauren. She's the person that drives me, that inspires me, and that I love. We look forward to a massive 2012. Go the Dockers. Thanks.